Hello, Votive community. I'm Jackie Fox. Today we're going to be talking about stabs. There are a lot of stabs, and there are several stabs that I wouldn't have even remembered to put on this list. Um, for instance, the Sage's Staff, the Staff of Madness, or... Oh, where's the other one? Oh, 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 the Arcane Tuning Rod. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought of any of these stabs because some of these have some really strange ways of getting them. Like, I believe uh, the Sage's Staff is like... I want to say it's an Arena Medal reward. It will take you forever and a half to accumulate all the recipes you would need to make one of these. But if you do, it is probably kind of mostly by far the strongest staff in the game. So the Stage of South plus six, which is the newest upgrade to it, has 255 magic. Holy crap. That's, that's like a record high stat, I think, um, for this game so far. Three accuracy and two critical. In addition to that, magic attack up plus 20, which is the highest uh, level of that upgrade. Accuracy plus 20, which I think that's the highest level of that upgrade that I've ever seen. And decrease attack time casting uh, 250, which is pretty good. Um, also one of the higher upgrades that you see like that. So just three incredibly powerful passives on top of a just beef stick of a beat stick. Next we have the wizard, wizard Rod. The Wizard Rod is from the Legendary Reliquaries. <clears throat> and I think it's quite a good get for most people in that a lot of units equip staves. There are several different stave jobs, much like there are many, many, many different units that equip swords. Um, so this is just a good one to have. 215 magic attack makes it the second strongest thing on this page. 5 accuracy and 5 crit. Just barely edge out in supporting staffs. The Sage's Staff, though neither of them are really anything to write home about. But then for passives, we're going to be getting that same magic attack plus 20. Great. Max damage 2000. Also, best in class stat. Really great. Um, CT up 200 when HP drops below 90% which is almost guaranteed to trigger. Like, you don't need anything special. Pretty much, you take damage, you get CT the first time. That's that's how that's gonna work. And it's great. If you're powerful enough that you can retaliate and take somebody out for hitting you, well, then the Wizard Rod is definitely the thing for you, especially as you break through that damage cap on their ass. Next we have the Staff of Madness. So this is Gargus's special. You're gonna have to get through the select quest, uh, selection quests for of wind to get this and uh, even further to get it to its plus one state. And in its plus one state, it has an 198 magic, 11 accuracy, three critical. Once again, 20 magic attack, making it the strongest of, uh, making it within the strongest tier of our high uh, power passives and high power staves, but it kind of falls off there. Reaction block 30 isn't amazing, and it certainly doesn't compete with the kind of passives that these other stabs have stacked onto them. Like, if you're not Gargus, because Gargus gets a lot of other things from this, this staff isn't, probably isn't in any case gonna be better for you than the Wizard Rod. Um, you don't have the Sage Staff plus six. Nobody has the Sage Staff plus six. If you do, fuck you. Um, <laughs> or actually, congratulations. And I, you know, your your diligence is all inspiring. Um, but nobody has that. <laughs> so you know, the Staff of Madness probably isn't going on anybody outside of Gargus unless you just didn't build the Wizard Rod at all. Uh, Cypress Pile. This was Black Witch Helena's. Um, signature weapon, 199 magic at its plus six form, it edges out just barely the uh, Staff of Madness plus one, four accuracy, four crit, not great. Um, this is going to be your magic attack penetration staff though, magic attack penetration of 10 and the magic attack of, of I'm sorry, uh, magic penetration of 20, magic attack uh, up of 10, so this is just generally going to do more damage and get through more defenses. Um, for the Staff of the Stormlord, which is uh, Renan's signature weapon, 
can be found in the Warrior of the Crystals um, missions. You get 176 magic, which is almost the lowest on the set. Um, so this isn't necessarily the best damage uh, piece of equipment. 14 accuracy, though, does make it the most reliable uh, piece of equipment on here, other than, of course, the Sage's Staff, and it's 20 accuracy on passive. Um, but 2 crit is pretty low, just ignorable. Um, the thing is, Spirit Penetration of 30 can be so important for certain units that this just has its place on this list because of that. It, it did a thing before, and now it does it even stronger. I'm not sure how necessary that extra 10 Spirit Penetration it got in plus 6 is for it, really, because, you know, functionally, you're probably at 40 or 60 or 80. Um, and at 80, this is just lost. At 60... I mean, I, I guess okay, but like you're very uh, close to like the next upgrade that gives them another 20 pushing that over as well. So it just seems like a very precarious uh, stat line to have in terms of passives to go all in on. But at the same time, I think that also makes it valuable. If you need 30, you need 30. Get your 30. This is the best way to do it. And then finally, um, in our normal rods, I will give you the Platinum Rod, plus six. This is, I believe, like the first rod, the basic rod. It has 194 attack, which is, or magic, rather, which is not bad for these offensive options. This is the second lowest, but it certainly sounds really good after talking about the storm, Staff of the Stormlord now, doesn't it? Uh, passives really fall off though. One accuracy, two critical. What the fuck? That's nothing. Um, but we do have the basic, basic uh, magic attack plus 15 and agility plus 10 when HP is above 80%. Which is good. Uh, that means you're going to get it right off the bat. This is similar to the effect on Terra Sword, which I ranked really high, as you'll remember. The thing is. That was above 60%. Being above 80%, I think, is kind of tough uh, on it, actually. And this just doesn't have a lot of other things going for it. Um, it and in addition to that, Magic Swords, while they did have, uh, interestingly, more competition than Physical Swords, since every since there isn't a physical magical split in stabs, it just has a lot more competition, and it just feels like uh, kind of some of the same things don't make it amazing. I don't know. Anyways, if you happen to be one of the following five classes, so if you happen to be a black mage, Yashulta, Amnalus staff mages which is not many um or i believe that's hold on i think i actually do have to look at the whale whisker sage of mystidia or a foreseer and that would be sakura and omnilus so yeah there are a lot of black mages that could benefit from this but other than that you've got yashota sakura and Omnilus. And then for Staff Mages, that really only brings in Skahal and Kilfay. Or is Skahal... Skahal is a Black Mage. Oh, well, Skahal would be able to use this naturally. So really, like, these... All, all four of these other <laughs> jobs here are all just basically one unit. This is the big one. Um, so it's Black Mages plus those four can use this. What do they get for that? Well, they get the Magic Attack 15, which is, uh, as I've indicated many times before, kind of basic. Uh, just right off the bat, everybody gets that. But they're also going to get Magic plus 30% and Accuracy plus 15. Now, both of these are really good. Um, accuracy plus 15 puts this close to the Accuracy plus 20 on the Sage's Staff, making this very close, actually, to being the most accurate 
uh, rod here by, by a bit. Um, when you get on to the board stuff, we're looking at 20 versus 23, so it's very close to being the most accurate staff on here if you are a black mage. 30% um, magic is also pretty good, pretty big, and that also makes it kind of versatile in that this could also be really beneficial for healing abilities. Um, these characters are probably going to have to bring those healing abilities in from subjobs or stuff, but uh, if they do have good heals, this could be beneficial to that, as well as damage, so it's, it's somewhat flexible. Um, and with 170 magic, uh, magic as its stat, it's certainly not the strongest, in fact, it is the weakest of the ones that we have mentioned so far, but the 30% uh, magic will help make up for that as well. I think this might actually be one of the weaker ones, even with its specificity, so it's really up for what you want to build. Just know that <laughs> basically this one class and four units will have the Whale Whisker as an additional option if that's the way you want to go. And then finally we have our healers and support. Anybody who's got that healing power needs healing power up. These are going to be the rods and staves for you. And I want to go with the Arcane Tuning Rod first. This is Minwoo's, so similarly to the Staff of Madness plus one, the Arcane Tuning Rod plus one, you're going to have to get through the Fire Selection Quests quite a ways to be able to get the plus one. Once you do, you have 191 magic power, making this uh, the fifth strongest on this list, actually. So not huge, but the strongest healing rod, specifically. Nine accuracy is good, no critical at all. Um, but much like the Whale Whisker, this has 30% magic and 15% HP. So this is pretty good. Um, I would say that in some cases for healers, it might be a toss up whether you use this or you use the Whale Whisker. I think they're both pretty similar. It kind of depends whether you want a little bit more offensive power and reliability or you just want to be stubborn and get that 15% HP. Um, not a terribly inaccurate rod anyways um, with its 9 accuracy on it but not the best in the same way that uh, the Whale Whisker or the Sage's Staff would be. A more classic healing option would be the Rune Staff plus 6. This is going to be uh, 187 magic for accuracy with a healing power of 15, this is going to be one of the higher healing power up options that you can get as a weapon and the highest option that you can get as a staff. Um, and in addition to that, it is going to have 10 magic attack uh, up, which is just going to help it do some more damage for accuracy. 187 magic. It's going to do all right. If you want a very similar, but I think slightly more diverse and maybe just a little bit better option, I know it's kind of missing a little bit on its stat line, but the guard stick plus six, which is from Aerith's um, EX quest, if you did that while that was around, the plus six of that gives you 168 magic, four accuracy, which is equal to the rune staff, but five critical. None of these have critical, so that's deet. Um, 10 healing power up is not insubstantial. It is very helpful. Uh, it's not quite 15, but it is there. It is something. Um, this one trades that for additional magic attack, a magic attack of 15, um, but also a magic resist of 8. And I think that this one probably wins because its passives are just generally better. Um, I think for healers you might more often go with the rune staff though for a, like a more dedicated healer but for someone who's a little bit more of a magical brawler that can heal that can attack that can you know defend all of that this is a very well-rounded staff and one of my favorites for well-rounded characters so with all of that being said if you appreciate this look at all the stabs well not all the stabs but all the stabs that are worth the print um, then please like and subscribe check out that link in the description where you can see other content of mine such as oh my god dog you have a cough while I'm recording <laughs> other content of mine such as videos 
podcasts, um, even books if you are a reader. Uh, we got some books that you might be interested in. I'm finishing up editing one as we speak. I'm very excited about it and very excited to start shopping it with publishers and doing stuff like that. If anybody has any uh, publishing tips, uh, hit me up in the comments. If anybody has any questions, comments, or concerns, hey, that's what the comments are there for. But also, as a part of that link, you can also find ways to support the channel and even find our Discord where you can come and hang out with us. And if any of that sounds good, check it out. Either way, I'll be here seeing you in the next one. So, hey, see you in the next one. <laughs>